Alrighty. So, welcome back. Well, I haven't played this game actually for a while. So, I left Star Trek Online on the House United uh, storyline in the middle, actually. So, we're gonna finish that today and uh, get prepared for the next um, chapter, which is something with Janeway, I think. Something you need? Uh, we'll go to Boris. I got some things because Vosoros told me to, but I don't remember. Uh, how do you even use this? You cannot equip that item. Uh, this token is used to unlock additional capabilities on your captain. Select this item and choose more details. Line uh, to the captain of your choice. Navigate to your main captain status window and click on the upgrade button. This is uh, the UI and some of the things you do in the game shows that it's uh, quite a bit. So I get one new personal ground trait, one new personal space trait, one new kit module slot, whatever that means, and one new ground device slot. Alright, so I got a kit and a device. That's cool. What do I have here? I have healings. Do I have any bigger healings? I don't. Wow. Ah, I should find some... Uh, or buy some healing items. Not to self. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. I guess I can use this. Or that. AOA pull to target. Ah, I'm straight out. I have no idea what I'm doing in this game. I haven't played for months. And even when I did play, I uh, basically had Vosoros telling me what to do. Alright, let us go to Boroth. Let's see what's there to be seen. I really wish now that we have a lot of Star Trek uh, going on on TV. Like we have uh, Picard, we have Discovery, there is uh, New Worlds coming with Pike, and there are a couple of animations. So Paramount, I think, is the company, is going all in. So I would like to see some more games. I know there is a kind of adventure game coming from ex devs of um, Telltale, but you know what? We could get the new Star Trek MMO. That doesn't... I mean, don't get me wrong, I really like uh, Star Trek Online. They have done a great job of fixing what the mess it was at the beginning and have uh, pretty good storylines. But it definitely shows its age. So it would be nice if we could uh, get an upgraded version of it. A new Star Trek Online, if you like. And probably there isn't any money for that, but it would have been nice. What I am about to tell you is unusual. I ask that you hear me out before making any sort of judgment. Very well. Proceed. Tenavik believes that the soul of Laurel was not restored to her clone because it is trapped within the depths of Greyhorn. Based on my own research, I am inclined to agree with you. Why would her soul be in Grethor rather than the Rastovokor? We aren't sure. What I do know is Lady Jula wants to take a spiritual journey to Grethor to liberate the soul of Laurel. Is that a journey possible? Tenavik has assured us that such a journey is possible and is willing to facilitate the process. While some of us have our doubts, Jula is convinced she must be. Here we are. He's going to do this alone. If necessary. Yes. She requests that you join her on this journey, however. Man, death like John Martok. And General Martok. I see. Martok, have you agreed to this? Yeah. 
I would like to see if such a thing can be done. If it is possible, Jola will need all the help she can get in a place filled with the worst pieces of Bakhtag ever to call themselves Klingons. Speaking of Jola, she wanted a word with you once you arrived. Very well, I will speak to the matriarch. Spirituality is usually not something you see with uh, Trek, so that's interesting. Also, I would love if I could fucking hide these huge things over here, but again, 10 plus years old game, so we'll live with the problems it has. You have arrived. Good. We have a challenging journey ahead of us. Tanavik can explain more about it to you. What can you tell me of the journey, Tenavik? It will be a challenge, one that will test your body, mind, and soul. Even the strongest of warriors can fall on such a journey. It is not a path to be traveled lightly. I'm ready to make the journey. Are you, Matriarch? The future of the Empire is at stake. Larel can guide us to victory over Jepak. For that, I will do what must be done, even if I have to destroy Fekla himself. Very well. Let us begin this fateful journey then. To enter Grathor, you'll need to be on the precipice of death. The fumes of so then I be Gringon to do that? To will he take me as a like comatose? Whatever the hell I am. That. Adipa and I will monitor your bodies from here. I see. Let's proceed. Oh uh, my god, I'm blanking completely on my fucking race. I'm doing it. There we go. Jesus. What did I suddenly wear? A spacesuit. What? Why am I wearing this? Weird. Alright, I'm not wearing it anymore. I guess it's just for the cutscenes. Thinking of all the limitations this game has, the engine which is old as hell. Does not seem like uh, this game is very, very good for what it is. This is cool. The void. Why are we here? They have done really good things, like the previous episode at the force field that was moving. That was pretty cool. But the ritual. It, wait. Something approaches from the mists. What brings you to a place where neither honor or dishonor reigns? No, oh, it's a uh, crazy eyes gay. I do not know you. You, I know from the tales of the past. To Ula, sister of. The matriarch of House Mokai. But you, General Matak, I will never forget you. Why are you here? He has a name which I don't remember, of course. Pretty cool actor. Ah, Goron. There we go. I must admit, I am surprised to see you here, Martok. Did your friends in the Federation finally convince you to do something less than honorable before you died? Was it Cisco? Or was it your good friend? The guy was also in this nine. Treacherous son of Moog. I wonder if it's the same they do a good job of getting the voice actors from the series. So I wonder if it's the same actor. Who are you, Patak? And he's in another game too. Wait. Those eyes. Yeah, the crazy eyes. Hard to miss. 
Uh, he's definitely in at least one other Star Trek game that I remember, which was an FMV kind of thing. And he might have been in more too. Yes, you have. For this is Gowron, son of Morel, son of Akar. And to answer your question, I am not dead yet, Gowron. My allies and I are merely passing through. Passing through, are you? There are but two destinations you can reach from Kobo. And I'll wager you're not traveling to Strobokor. You mentioned my ancestor, Akar. He served House Mokai during the war with the Federation. Does your little journey have something to do with him? It does not. Though I suspect his treachery is the reason you are here now, Gowron. After all, the dishonor of the father. This is bullshit, by the way. So what does this unfold for the sins of the father? For three generations. You are many things, Martok, but a liar is not one of them. If I had any doubt of that, I would kill you where you stand for insulting the honor of my grandfather. So, nice music, though. Because dishonor has kept me trapped in this wretched place. Not the fate I had expected. There are good fates, such as eternity in Grethor. Indeed, Grethor. Our destination. You said it could be reached from here. Do you know the way? I do. I can guide you there if you wish it. Very well. Wait. The Galron I knew would not aid anyone if it did not benefit him in some way. What scheme are you hiding behind this sudden act of benevolence? <laughs> Look around you, Marta. There is little to do in this place but brood and despair. I'm taking you there for my amusement. And perhaps there may be a way out of this place. If there is, I would find it. Even if I have to march at your side to do so. <laughs> Does that satisfy you? Or shall we stand here for eternity and ponder my motivations? I wonder if we'll start seeing new golden age of uh, Star Trek games because Back when Star Trek was a thing, and uh, you know, before that huge hiatus, uh, before the new shows, there were a lot of games. Like, I really hope they go back to that. We don't have much of a choice. We don't, Goron. Also, again, I'm not a huge Klingon guy. I don't really like them that much. But this uh, storyline has hasn't been bad. Has been pretty good, I would say. Nice callbacks to characters, nice settings. It is unwise to vex the ferryman. Let's go and produce ourselves. Have, I think we've seen the birds too somewhere. Don't remember where. Probably worth thing. of the ferryman are true. You are Kortar, the first Klingon, slayer of gods. Or we're all on drugs. I am, and you are Ja'ula, kinswoman of Takuvma, matriarch of your house. It is not your time. You should not be here. Explain yourself. My allies and I seek the soul of another, one who should be in Stovacor but now dwells in Grethel. It is not your time. Maybe someone else on board has seen Larel. Larel? I know no Larel. But I know you, Jaula. You left me to die in a Starfleet prison. Oh, you rescued your pet, a car. But not a lonely beck trapped in his cell. And during your raid, an explosion exposed myself to the cold void of space. And so I died. Disarmed. Be gone! I have nothing more to say to you. That was no way for a warrior to die. It is a fate I narrowly avoided several times myself. Come. 
Let us see what the others know. It's interesting that if you take this, I guess, dragon fuse the trip as reality, this basically confirms every crazy thing uh, the Klingons believe Why about honor and stuff like that. Why? These are the wrong buttons. Um, buttons. Is there a key binds? Thank you. Eh, there we go. Okay. Larel, here? Kiyach! I may be a coward. But you are an idiot! Everyone knows that the Lorel is in Stovacorn! As for you, you will have an eternity in Grethor to find wisdom, fool! But the lessons that await you will not be pleasant! Mind your tongue, or I will throw you overboard and feed you to the Coast Kari! Lady Jaula, this is getting us nowhere. Perhaps a more direct approach is in order. Out of respect for the ferryman, I will refrain from such measures until they are necessary. Come, let us see if one of the others has something besides rage or the bluster of a coward to offer us. Lady Jaula and General Martok, the architects of my downfall. I now swore allegiance to you, but I saw you crusade against Jempuk for the folly it was. I refused your call to arms at Gorath, and for that, my first officer killed me. Ask you to have. I place as captain. I shall enjoy watching the two of you suffer for the rest of time. You dishonored your house and your crew. You forgot what it meant to be Klingon, Captain. And now, you go to pay the price for that. Step away from me now. Or your suffering will begin before you walk through the gates of Grethor. Here we go. When you turn, I shall have my vengeance before all others. I don't have an axe and not my sword. Is it Denzel Handax? I don't remember this. Sure, I guess we can use it. I do not know who sent you here, Julia, and I do not care. My wish for vengeance has been granted, and I will stain the deck of this barge with your blood. Ready weapons, defend yourselves. Fight, fight. fight. Oh, it's a lot of them. Okay. Uh, fuck, how do I play this game? <laughs> well, you haven't played in months. All right, hit them with the axe. Enough! You shall earn no salvation through combat here. Come on, I just got all my stuff out. Ah, the very man has spared you for now. Do not think you will rest easy once we reach Grethor. I will find you, and I will have my revenge. This, I swear. Bold words. But I think you'll find that Feklar has plans for you, as he does for all traitors. We're done here. Leave this wretch to his fate. The glory of combat, brief as it was, it felt good to engage in battle once more, to be Klingon. So, there is still something within you that knows. Yeah, Garon was also stop missing that guy that much. You were the Gauron of old. I guess, yeah, that, is, that was the problem. As it did me, as it did Jampak. And perhaps, Laurel. Like he starts pretty cool and then, you know, he falls. Interesting. You 
you became Chancellor after I fell in battle? Tell me you killed one of the idiot. Glorious! I did not. Worf still lives and serves the Empire to this day. I hope you can handle such a disappointment, Galron. You two can catch up later. We have business elsewhere. Ask the ferryman how much longer it will be until we get to Grethel. Uh, how do you hide the weapons? No. No. Ah, it's. You fight with purpose, Daula. Honor to you and your house. I think we shall not meet again. And that gladdens my heart. It will be some time before we arrive at Grethor. Tell me of the soul you seek. I would know your story, so I can sing it to the dishonored, to remind them of who they were, of who they could still become. That's interesting. Is there a way to get redemption while you are in Grethor? And move on to Stravakor? I seek Lorel. She was once called Mother, a great warrior and leader of the Empire. I would liberate her soul. I strive to remove a tyrant from the Emperor's throne, and her counsel will help me to do so. This is why I journey to the halls of Grethor, Ferryman. For the Empire, no risk is too great. I have seen her. Once, she stood not far from where you stand now. She did not speak. She did not have to. But I saw in her the same pain that I carry in my heart. You can find her in this is so Klingon, though. if the denizens do not end you first. But finding her and liberating her from that wretched place are two different battles. May you find success in both. Well, she did come to Grethor, but why? That is not my tale to tell. Find Lorel, make her story and yours as one, and fight with all your conviction. Then, and only then, may you find a way out of Grethor. For yourself and for the realm. We knew we had a fight ahead of us, but this changes nothing. So there is a way out of Grethor. Tell me, Ferryman. How can I find my way in? The gates are locked to me. My path out of Koth has been blocked by the dishonor of my ancestor. But if I can enter Grethor, I can find the liberation that Jaula and her allies seek for Loren. Speak! Tell me what I wish to know! I will tell you only this. Your story has not ended, Gauron, son of Marel. The scale has cool. shifted yet, for good or for ill. Now, leave me to my duty. I will call upon you when we draw near to Grethor. Until then, know your place. Do not forget that I am master of this vessel. It is unwise to test my authority here. Understood, Ferryman. I also like that this is a space going civilization, right? But there are myths that happened uh, before they were one still hold, and their afterlife is basically based on those. On the superstitions, on the like, this is a boat. It's not a spaceship or anything. Man, this has been a good episode. I didn't like the previous one so far, but this has been a really good episode. We have arrived. I will wait for you and your allies here, Jadula. Should you succeed, return to me here, and I will ensure your song does not end in Grethor. You honor us, Kortan, first of the Klingons. We will not keep you waiting long. Grethor awaits, Matriarch. So it does. Prepare for battle. Our greatest challenge awaits. Understood. You find no one to block your entrance at the gates of Grethor, warriors. Getting out, that will be the challenge. Yauron, a pity you cannot join us. I suspect you would find more entertainment past those gates. 
in the depths of Brethar itself. <laughs> I do not doubt that. Soon Fekla will know the frustration of dealing with a Klingon too stubborn to die. Glory to you and your house. Fight with honor, and if necessary, die well. Kapla! The time has come! Go now, warriors! Your destiny lies beyond those gates. We shall return, Ferryman. We shall see. The halls of Grethor have crushed many a soul. I hope yours do not join their ranks. As for you, Gaurong, I would have words with you before we depart. In we go then. I really hope they actually redeem uh, Goron, that would be cool. This is the nice thing about the MMO, right? They can do a lot of things that maybe the shows can't or uh, won't do. Uh, a lot of stories that are finished, you can kinda continue them. Look at these pathetic wretches, reporting for damnation like it were duty. There are the gates. Let us see if entering Grethor is as easy as Kortar said. You should get in, hard to get out. Not so much fire. Be like searching for a cloaked ship in the Briar Patch. We do not seek a mundane soul, General. Few Klingons do not know of the realm. I do not think a warrior of her caliber would go unnoticed, especially in a place like this. Come. Let us speak to others here. It should not take long to find Lorel. That soul. They keep looking at us. Let's start with them. Ah, more newcomers. This place. Oh, it stinks. It's loud and teeming with demons. That said, oh, at least it's warm. Unlike Mura Penthe, where I froze to death in a cell. I suppose that is better than filling the belly of a jackal mastiff. Your appetite was... Jail, right? But Kirk went, maybe. We are looking for Lorel. Have you seen her? I know the name, but... <laughs> Can't say I have. Sorry. Well, don't make that face at me. See that man atop the stairs? The one surrounded by she demons? He's called Kuta. Seems to be a player in here. You might ask him about Lorel. Let's see what this Kutep has to say. Like the demons. Okay. It's easy. You she demons want souls to devour. I can help with that. No! My soul, you insufferable harpy! <clears throat> Behold! Newcomers have arrived from the east! Come forth, travelers! Let us get to know one another! Listen closely, Batak. We seek Lorel. Have you seen her? Speak now! Before I feed you to your charming friends. You wouldn't! Wait! What? I can see it in your eyes. I have not seen this. Lorel. Uh, Fort, uh, you need to talk to Fort. If there's anyone who knows about this, it's her. Please don't feed me to the she demons. <laughs> I like that he's considered a player, but he's, you know, kind of a coward, which makes sense because everybody here is either a traitor or a coward or, uh, you know, a person that didn't live with honor. You have been helpful. Good luck. Uh, you need it. Fort must be further in. Let us head through these doors and look for them. Kultep sent you. Impressive. I sent my she demons down to eat him. Silver-tongued bastard must have talked his way out of their bellies. Never mind that. Why are you bothering me exactly? We are looking for Lorel. Seen here? Someone who looks a lot like Lorel has been seen around. 
quiet type. Keeps to herself. That's not an easy thing to do around here. Someone like her could pull it off, I suppose. Indeed. Where can we find her? Ask Lothar. I run my little corner of things, and that's all. She's elsewhere, and for that, you need to talk to Lothar. Unless you want to take it up with Fethlar, of course. Ha! I also like that you see Klingons from different eras, right? Klingons before the hair, the new Klingons, if you like, of uh, Discovery, and the old Klingons of uh, TNG DS9. I wonder if we'll actually see a Klingon, probably not, that doesn't have the ridges. You know, the Star Trek uh, original series uh, kind. That would be really cool. But I somehow doubt it. Yes, we would. Alright, cool stuff. Good job, game. Newcomers with so many questions have made their way to me at last. Allow me to welcome you to the Hall of Treachery. A tragic name, really. We aren't all bad here. I, I should get some more of the original series. The one Klingon I saw, the one episode with Klingons I saw, the Klingons were actually very different than. Uh, what we know as Klingons. They weren't quite as warlike, they were a lot more intelligent, a lot more scientifically minded in that episode. I, I think they became kind of caricatures, which is why I don't really love Klingons that much. Uh, we aren't all bad here, I'm sure. We enjoy such amusement whenever we can in Preston. But enough of that. You have questions, yes? Ask away. Also, Kirk was a lot smarter in the series than... Uh, there is... Again, there has been a lot of memes about Kirk and, uh, you know... Oh, he's a thug, basically. He just... Uh, beats everyone and uh, sleeps with women and that's his thing. But in the series, he's a lot smarter... Uh, like, I think the episode with the Klingon was all about the uh, battle of uh, wills, tactics, stuff like that. They outmaneuvered uh, each other, not physically. If you've been watching us, you know why we're here. Long it surprised me because of all the memes. You dwell within your domain or not. Calm yourself, General. Yes, I know who you are. The great and terrible Martok, Butcher of Zenkath 3, the one I doom, and so forth. Your reputation precedes you, all of you. Uh, the one I doom? Enough. <laughs> you still haven't answered his question, Lothar. Tell us where we can find Lorel, and you'll never see us again. Well, this is embarrassing, but I'm afraid I lost Lorel in a game of poker. Do you know it? Human game. Quite popular here. Probably bullshit. Another step closer to our goal. Let's go. Uh, what does this point me? Oh, okay. What? Lorel? I don't know her. There must be some sort of mistake. This doesn't seem like a master gambler to me. Gambler? No, no! This is Lothar's work. I'm sorry, you've been played. We've all been played. And now, now we're gonna suffer for it. This dialogue. Sorry. It's an ambush. I told you it was <laughs> that vengeance would be mine. What I meant was, vengeance would be ours. Finally run out! Martok! Try to die well, Jaula! Uh, what was this? Now I know! 
Let me pick my macros. I can go the new ability, but I don't think I put it in the macros. Come on, let's do this. I prefer the sword, I think, from the X. Uh, oh. He's invisible. Ouch. Go back to the healing area. No! Okay. Oh, I need to redo it? I have to have call for help. Let me remove this uh, axe. I'm not feeling it. Go back to the sword. Even though this might be better. Alright, let's try that again. I thought they would respawn me right there. Enemy on but, oh, it's still. The fight is still going, okay. To meet your end. And now, you have found her. We need to talk. The second version of Lorel, I guess. Because uh, at the start she had uh, no hair. Jaula, sister of Takuvma. I know your story well. How you rose to power in House Mokai. Your conflict with your brother and your bold crusade against the Federation during the war. Even after my death, I heard tales of your exploits. You have made and ended a great many enemies. Many of them now dwell within these halls. I know why these souls are here. What I do not know is why you are here. It's very great. It is not your with Tukuma was too, right? They had some defect, maybe. If you have heard of my exploits, you know of my clash with the tyrant Jemtak. Once he held the office you brought honor to, but it was not enough to sate his lust for power. Now, he calls himself Emperor, and to shatter the great work of my brother. The empire you led with honor was now divided, on the verge of collapse. I am here because I want to restore you to the realm of the living, to help me save it. Your brother often spoke of your boldness. I suspect he might have understated it somewhat. What you seek is not impossible, but I question the need for such a thing. Uh, what? Why seek to restore me from the dead when another former Chancellor still breathes? Of what use am I when General Martok, a warrior fit to wield the sword of Kalish, stands at your side? It appears you've heard of my exploits as well, Chancellor. I am honored. As you should be, General. You have served the Empire. Oh my god, so many death flags. And yet, you are reluctant to reclaim the office you once held. Why else would you be here now? I do not blame you. I know too well of the great burden that office brings. 
and the terrible sacrifices it often demands. Word travels fast here. Your enemies will be on the move. If you do not return to the realm of the living soon, they will strike. Even the greatest warriors can die here. You should leave, while you are still able to do so. Join us. Together, we can liberate you from this place and restore you to life as Kalis once was. No, I cannot leave this place. It is a matter of honor. Once, I dwelled in Stobokor among the honored dead. But Vok, my greatest love, was denied entry. He was denied an honorable death, and thus the soul was sent to Grethor. I could not bear that, and so I came here and bargained with Theklar for his release. In exchange for Volk's freedom, I offered to take his place. Aye, more the flags. See, my offer was accepted. This is why I cannot leave. To do so would dishonor the agreement and condemn us both to eternal suffering in Gretor. You have traveled here in vain, Ja'ula. I cannot help you. Lamar will uh, offer to stay behind, I think. I saw it. The crystal showed me the future, and you yeah. were a part of it. It's probably Martok. You could strike a bargain with the master of Gretor, so can I. I will find Feklar and secure your freedom, or die trying. I have seen such determination before, in the eyes of your honored brother. So be it. I will take you to Feklar. There we shall see how strong your resolve truly is. A deal with Feklar? I hope you know what you are doing to Ulla. The stairs beyond those doors lead to Feklar's hall. Feklar. This ought to be interesting. Why am I going first? <laughs> the Klingons should lead, I really. Do not seem to be opposed to our passage. They aren't here to keep us away from Feklar. They're here to keep us from escaping. Not everybody's into pain. Relax. to bargain for the soul of Lorel. I would liberate her from these halls. Ha ha ha! Such impudence! You think you are worthy of commerce with me? My good lady, I am inclined to disagree. Violently. Yeah, well. Wouldn't be a click on a uh, place if we didn't fight, I guess. Together! We should be able to finish off Teklar. Watch out! He's calling in tormented souls to fight us as well! Oh wow, okay. Shouldn't have set in the fires, I guess. Help! Help! Damn, okay. No help coming, that's fine. Oh. 
I'm not sure if I should focus on this guy or on the souls or what? Probably focus on that guy, right? Okay, dude. We know who you are. Relax. It sounds like those fingers that start the song with their names. How insecure are you? That uh, Darulo guy, whatever his name is. You have provided me with great sport. I shall hear your mind. What do you offer in trade for the soul of the realm? Lord Beckler. I wish to offer my Wait! Hold your ah, Goron. Alright, nice. Didn't expect that. Beckler! Let's go, Goron. The soul of a Chancellor you want. Take mine instead. Intrigue. I accept, son of the realm. You shall take the realm's place. Are you mad, Gauron? Better to spend eternity with Klingons than to be alone in the void, even in a place like this. Lord Feklar, this should not be Gauron's fate. I will deliver the soul that belongs here. His treacherous ancestor, Akar. Unacceptable. Gregor is filled with souls such as Akar's. You have to. Sweet Very well. I shall deliver the souls of Akar and Jepak. <laughs> Gonna listen to that. <laughs> I accept your generous offer. Deliver those souls to me, and Gauron shall be free as well. And now, I give you leave to go. Be gone. All right, cool, cool stuff. Um, where are my skills? Mm, not those skills. Oh yeah, I got some specializations too, right? Which I don't remember. Uh, uh, okay, we got the traits. Personal ground, personal space, not starship though. Um, I have no idea what to use. Bonus hit points might be good. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, I already have that? Yeah, I already have that. Yes, okay. Better, let's do that. Uh, no. Nope. Don't have any cannons. Don't use batteries really. Kinetic and physical resist, maybe. Outgoing Hull healing. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, that's not bad. Automatic Hull Heal when Hull below 50%. Yeah, I'll take that. Damn, okay. Cool. But that, again, is not what I'm looking for. Where are my skills? These skills over here. 
I don't seem to be here. I'm pressing random stuff. I have to find this. View all available abilities. Okay. Where is the anti proton thing? Oh, this is for the Borg. Okay. Useless. Nice. Okay. Have two of these. I don't need. That's what I wanted. Uh, hmm, maybe. All right, sure, why not? I still need some healing items. We'll see. All right, cool. Let's return with Lorel's soul. I'm guessing we're gonna need to fight in the way too, but... For now. Yeah... Of course. Of course. And this guy's laughter is cringy as fuck. I've dealt with Ferengi that were less treacherous than <laughs> Come on. There we go. By the basic whatever. This thing we got it since I think I got it on the first storyline of the game. Uh, should I take some items? Nah, not unless it's a healing item. Ah, there we go. And the big deal though, not only smalls. Must be good to buy this, but I don't remember what this. Yeah, only smalls. I'm guessing you buy them at the. Who are we fighting? I'm only stuck. Alright, never mind. Let's move on. I'm not sure if my party will follow. Be ready. Yes, okay. Let them come. If they want to die again, I'm happy to oblige them. Can they even die again? So many enemies everywhere. The bad thing with Klingons, they basically ignore your shielding because they use melee weapons. Batlifts and all that jazz. 
And I don't have any healing items. Uh, what is there, I guess? Hello? What? Okay. Oh, everything's unconscious. Alright, this is gonna be a bit... Are we gonna kill everybody in here? I guess we are. My bad. Wrong button. It's a nice ability, but it takes a long time to get used. is waiting for us on the barge. Okay. That's not the only thing waiting for us on the other side. Get ready to fight! We should kill all the guys in here first. Before we go outside, just saying. Why are you following me? Attack these guys. Zelda. Of course, they have fire breathing cars. Kortar, prepare to weigh anchor. We are leaving in a hurry. Wow. So much so much. Uh... A new Star Trek also would, could fix the kind of not great uh, ground combat. Even now that they have done some junk building it, it's still not even close to being good. Oh my god, that was a bad pull! <laughs> Can I just ignore them and go straight for the boats? I wonder. Let's try that. Yep. That worked better. Welcome back to the world of the living. And not a moment too soon. A few minutes ago, 
Sensors detected energy signatures. Non get divrel. Fekiri portals. They're sending vessels through as we speak. The world travels fast. They must be here for Lirel. Has her soul been liberated? Was 